what's the advice today? Well, today we're talking movies about investing, training, financial. Stay connected. Oh yeah, what's popping everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast. I'm also an IT professional. And on this channel, Game of Finance, we talk about all things personal finance, investing, economy, also retirement, and major key mindset. So please make sure you like, subscribe, notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my special content. Cool beans? go and guys here on game of finance we're trying to bring positive change to inspire help learn share ideas growth and of course good leadership so please stay safe stay healthy and now without further ado let's get this work all right guys the financial world let me tell you in all this incarnation you know seeing the good the bad and the ugly all present in many of the financial films that Hollywood and all the students have been able to, you know, to produce, uh, you know, around the world from different countries, you know, you'll be able to, to see the financial professional are just going at it big time, right? expressing unbelievable stories from commitment, tenacity, knowledge, risk taking, big time, ingenuity, and of course, one of the big ones, greed. All made for compelling and great cinema. You know, I enjoy it, very entertaining. It's a must for anybody to watch, whether you're in the business or just for entertainment. You know, if you're seeking for a career change in finance or investing, it will be to great and watch the films. Or if you're already working in the business, you know, definitely you'll be able to recognize some of the elements and fundamentals for it. So, hey, enjoy, all right? So let's go, let's talk a little bit more. And guys, of course, you know, in order to have a better understanding of the industry, books are one of the best resources, period. You know, that way you can understand the functions, the element, fundamentals, and how the decision taken in those boardrooms can impact the common individual, aka Main Street. Now, if you want to avoid all the complex terms and the, you know, the complex plot and all the good stuff, you know, definitely films documentaries can offer a better way, easier way to understand the inside of the industry. Now, please, please do not get it twisted and jump to conclusion that because you watch the film, you're going to be some, some sort of a guru or specialist overnight. Ain't gonna happen, no way, you know. It takes a lot of years and hard work. So, you know, you will be able to see a lot of realism, but also fiction, and most of it is for to keep things simple and for entertainment purposes. Cool bean. So now let's see, you know, let's take a peek at some of these top best uh, financial flicks. All right, let's go. Ready guys, let the fun begin. Here we go. Movies about investing, finance, trading, etc. Okay, the world of finance right here. You're gonna see in the movies a lot of details regarding stock exchange, brokerage account, the agents, index funds, you're gonna see securities, underwriting firms, big time, large banks, and of course, big businesses, all right? Oh, and guys, quick note, another note, real quick. I'm not going to be addressing the plot for each movie, okay? You know, I don't wanna stay in here and ruin the fun and spoil it, okay? I want you to go ahead, search for the movie, watch it, which is gonna be by yourself, with your family, your friends, and let me know which one you watched, if you liked it, not okay so all right guys let's begin right away we're going to begin right off the bat with a monster right here this blue dot right here wall street duh come on guys wall street year released 1987 tremendous hollywood drama movie this is a movie again this is not a documentary or series this is a full film all right you'll see charlie sheen and michael douglas as Mr. Gecko, the beast, all right? You'll be able to catch and stream it on uh, Amazon Prime. If by any chance it's not there, just please look for any of the other uh, streaming platforms, all right? And I'm gonna give you right now, right up, straight up, 
I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of the movie. I'm gonna give you from one to 10. And since we're talking about Wall Street, I'm gonna give you mine, all right? So real quick, mine is gonna be definitely 10 out of 10. This is a classic, classic movie. Whether you like the investing world or not, or you just like movies, period, as an entertainment, this is a must watch movie, big time. All right, guys, don't forget Wall Street. If you haven't, if you haven't seen this movie, I don't know what the hell you've been doing, for real. So make, you, make sure you catch it. Let me know if you like it, what you thought of it. All right, cool beans. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, let's jump into the next one. And another note, the way you have to set up is by year. From the oldest movie to the closest to 2020. That's why we started with 1987, okay? Just a quick note right there. So next one, red dot right here. It's going to be Gafla. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is an international movie. Year released, 2006. This is what is called Bollywood drama, all right? It also has a, uh, an amazing cast. You can watch it, stream it on YouTube. If not, try to see if you can find it on Hulu, etc. Now again, for Gafla, my honest opinion is going to be, all right, for this movie, again, this is a movie, not a series or, or a biopic or anything. It's a movie, it's going to be seven out of 10. I watched it. That's where I believe this is, a, you know, as far as the plot, the music, the cinematography, and the performance, they were, you know, they were on the level. You know, you cannot say, and of course, because it's uh, international, you have to watch it with subtitles, unless you, you, you know, you understand it speaks uh, the language. Hey, that would be awesome for you. But uh, for me, I watched it twice. Honestly, that's uh, that's the score that I was able to, you know, to to give to the movie. Still, even though it's you know seven, it's still it's a movie for you to watch. Okay, hey guys. Now let's jump into the blue dot right here. It's going to be the Inside Job. It released 2010. All right. And now again, this is not a movie. This is more of a documentary. And for those who you know, for those individuals who loves Matt Damon, actually he was the one doing the narrative. Right, you can actually catch on, on YouTube right here on YouTube, or if you want to, you know, take it a different way, also in Amazon Prime. This movie, um, I'm sorry, this movie, this documentary is definitely a must watch. You need if you want to understand how the things that happened in 2007, 2008, definitely this documentary is going to open your eyes. Keep in mind. If you don't have the stomach, definitely don't. This is it's real deep when it comes to the details. Cool beans, all right? And for the inside job, my honest review for Emma Finance review is going to be, let's see, it's gonna be nine out of 10, definitely. Must watch. And the reason I don't give it a 10 is because there's a lot of complex terms and processes and in a way, if you know, if you if you knew, it's gonna be hard to kind of follow along. Let's just put it that way, you know, because of the complexity of it. That's the reason I give it nine. Cause I wish they could have uh, kind of slow it down a little bit, and take the time to explain exactly what's going on, uh, because it's very deep. So, but other than that, definitely a must watch. Cool beans. All right, guys. So next movie right here, Yellow Dot. Next movie is Margin Call, release date 2011. This is a Hollywood drama. This is a cool movie and it has a tremendous, tremendous cast. Pretty much everybody there, definitely. Where you can watch it, stream it, Hulu, here on YouTube, definitely. And of course, what is the game of finance? The GOF review. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you very humbly. So what's, what's it gonna be? All right, let's see. It's going to be 7.5 out of 10, guys. I still, I, I gave it that for a few reasons. I was planning to give it an A, but to me, on my taste, what I was able to learn and watch, 
is seven, uh, seven point five is very reasonable. You know they uh, they could have just a few things, but as far as the food for thought, the learning, the lesson, definitely Margin Call is a must watch movie. This refers back to the two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight. The inside job, all the financial crisis, the mortgages, you'll be able to learn that here, big time. So margin call, tip, must watch, definitely, my opinion, 7.5 out of 10, all right? Catch it on. All right, guys, we're going right here, this green dot here, this section. Next movie, Wolf of Wall Street. Man, this movie, my God, released year 2013 all right this is another hollywood drama this is a full film not a documentary or series and you'll see this is uh, was directed by martin scorsese and definitely you see leonardo dicaprio just going ham big time he really really stole the show in that movie well you can watch it well, they have it in Slim, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have it many other streaming, but definitely you can catch it here on YouTube. Now for this movie, Wolf of Wall Street, GOF review. What is the game of finance? Uh, my personal and honest review for this movie. All right, I'm gonna share it with you right now. All right, let's see what we got. So, I gave it for this one, Wolf of Wall Street, guys. 9.5 out of 10. Why? Because this movie just is just pretty much when it comes to the cinematography, it's awesome. Performance is awesome. Music is awesome. Plot is awesome. You know, I, you know, I'm, it's kind of weird that I, I don't give it a 10. Maybe I might change my mind. But for now, just to keep it simple, 9.5 out of 10. Definitely, I love watching and rewatching this movie big time. Which is definitely, uh, uh, you will learn a lot when it comes to stock brokers and penny stocks. Definitely, watch why it's very fun to watch, very entertaining, but also you'll see some of the greediness when it comes to the stock market. So, definitely, Wolf of Wall Street, 9.5 out of 10, my honest opinion. All right. Okay, guys, we keep going. Next one, yellow dot right here. So, next movie. The Big Short. So this one was in released in 2015. All right, this is another Hollywood drama or film. Another movie with a great cast, just like Margin Call and Wolf of Wall Street. Tremendous, tremendous cast. All right, you can watch it streaming at YouTube, of course, and Amazon Prime. If not there, then just go ahead and see. You know, maybe. Got your Netflix, Sling, and set that up, okay? So for the Big Short, what, what is the review for the Big Short? You know, what is the game of finance, the DOF review? All right, I'm gonna give you honest, my honest opinion. All right, let's see. So for this one, guys, right there. The Big Short for me is 9.5 out of 10. I love watching and re-watching this movie. Steve Carell, it just blew my mind in this movie. He just as serious, but as funny as well. Definitely, definitely you will enjoy the big short. It has the, the drama, you know, you see the greediness, but also has a lot of comedy. I will say that probably this is the movie that has the more uh, of comedy to it, definitely. Uh, but you'll see the seriousness as well, because remember this, uh, uh, you know, this relates to again, to the inside job of what happens in 2007 and 2008. So definitely for me, my honest opinion, Game of Finance, the big short, 9.5 out of 10. Cool beans? All right, guys. So next one is right here, this green dot. The name is Becoming Warren Buffett, all right? Release date was 2017. Now, this one is not a movie series. This is a biopic and you can catch it this one was more of an exclusive. Actually, it was through HBO, but I believe I was able to see it through Amazon Prime because they also have, just like I believe was cool, also they have the little special package that you can actually include HBO. Again, this is regarding about Warren Buffett, his beginning, the rises, 
you know, all the beautiful stuff that he has done as far as the Berkshire Hathaway, etc. And now for this one, you know, for this documentary, the focus on investing uh, a lot of the when it comes to business and entrepreneurship. The honest opinion, Gamma Finance review for this one. Uh, let's see, for this one, I will say right there, guys, 7.5 out of 10. The reason I gave it 7.5. You know, this is Warren Buffett, you know, this is the Oracle right here. But, you know, I wanted to see more of a realism, not just, you know, when it comes to investing, entrepreneurship is not all, it's not always, you know, a rainbowish. It's a lot of headaches, pain, tears, you know, uh, you know, suffering when it comes to, you know, trying to be disciplined. So I, I kind of miss some of those uh, narratives uh, as far as that. But again, you know, I gave it that five because it's Warren Buffett. But I was, there's a few things that I was missing. I, I was trying to see a little bit more, you know, that I could connect a little more. But still, this documentary, yes, you need to watch it. If you know when it comes to investing in, if you don't know anything about Warren Buffett, you don't want to read the books, definitely then you must watch this biopic. Definitely. My honest opinion for this one, 7.5 out of 10. All right. All right, guys. Last but not least. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Right here. Blue Dot movie. Bazaar. Released for 2018. This is a full film. Movie drama. This is what they call it again. Bollywood. Mainly focused, touching base as far as the stock trading. Okay, this is an amazing movie. Also, you can catch it streaming on Netflix, also here on YouTube. Uh, what is the my GOF Game of Finance review? Well, in this case for Bazaar, I'm gonna give it right now my honest opinion. All right, let's see. So we have hang, right there, six point five. Let me get that that way so you can see. 6.5 out of 10. That's what I give it the movie. Okay, and don't come to me about because it's an international movie. Yeah, but because the language has nothing to do. You know, it, when you love movies as, as much as I do, I know how to recognize the music, cinema, cinematography, performance, and the plot. And I have my own reason, my own taste, why I gave it 6.5. Now, let me tell you, the one thing that I was able to recognize was the cinematography of the movie is amazing 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 it's ridiculous but unfortunately there were a few things that kind of went you know lagging they went short i wish that maybe the movie while it was you know, on the progression maybe it will scale up but it, it kind of felt flat that's the reason i gave it 6.5 because the majority of the you know, the jaw dropping was the cinematography, but music was okay, you know, plot, the script was okay, you know, things like that. The Bazaar, hoping again that I'm pronouncing it correctly, is a great movie to watch. Yes, you should watch this movie, okay? But my honest opinion, Game of Finance, 6.5 out of 10. All right, cool beans? All right, guys, that wraps it up right here for all the movies, all right? Wall Street, Gafla, Inside Job, Margin Call, Wolf of Wall Street, The Big Short, Becoming Warren Buffett, Bizarre. And also guys, quick bonus tip. Most of these movies, they do have real life events. Yes, big time, they do. Especially when it comes, like I, I told you before, Inside Job, Margin Call, The Big Short, Wolf of Wall Street, or buy a pick by Warren Buffett. And don't get it twisted, Bazaar and Gafla, they do have real life events. It just say, you know, in a different country, but that's the beautiful part. You'll be able to learn not only about the US exchanges, but the international. It's always good to know that way you can educate yourself and increase your IQ. They will teach you some of the wild style and in some cases, most of it, because when it comes to investing, there's always something different. You'll see the 
ludicrous, you know, uh, effect when it comes to the day-to-day processes, when it comes to, you know, brokerages, investing, definitely catch them on. Let me know if you're able to see any of the movies or if you be able to catch actually all of them, all of the eight movies, if you like it, if you learn anything new, all right? So let me know, that way we can all share. Give me your feedback, you know, if any chance margin code you thought actually is a 10, Put it down in the description. Let me know if for me it was a 10. Yeah, let's go ahead and share it. All right. All right, guys. Hope you find this content valuable and helpful. Please practice due diligence. You gotta do your homework, recognize your risk and your rewards. Period. If you have questions or comments, place them down below. Also, I wanted to share my investing one-on-one guy down in the description. It's free, so you got no excuse. All you have to do is get your name, email, submit, and we'll take you straight to the download link. So where you can go ahead and study. Also, for my Latin Spanish people, I got you, my people. Same process. Nombre, correo electrónico, te le clique en, lo llevará al sitio web. Ahí verán todo el enlace para bajar la guía de estudio, así se pongan al día y estudiar, ¿ok? No hay excusa porque es completamente gratis. So, pónganse para lo suyo. Alright? So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. That's the Call of Duty formula. So, don't forget, who beans? Anyway, guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching big time. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next chapter. And remember, work hard, but work smart. I'm out.